Here's a video about how to plot the transfer function of an analog filter in the S-plane. Here's the transfer function that I looked up online, and I'm defining the function s, uh, sorry, h of s equal to this transfer function. So to make the plot, uh, I'm going to call the plot command and take the absolute value of that transfer function with the input is complex number i times my frequency omega. And omega will vary from 0 to 3, and then I get the magnitude. If I take the complex argument instead of the absolute value, then I get the phase. And this phase is measured in radians. If you don't know or don't remember what the ARG function is, uh, look it up online. You'll find plenty of websites that tell you how to compute that. Uh, many of you will be using software that doesn't do continuous plots. So uh, if you're using MATLAB or C or even Microsoft Excel. Um, you want to create a, an array or a table of data, and that's what I'm doing here, using the table command to create a list of the values of this expression with omega from 0 to 3 in increments of 0 0.1. And that gives me a list, which I can then do the same thing I did before. Plot it with absolute value in arg, and I get magnitude and phase. Um, the last thing that you might need is decibel scale magnitude. So here's a formula for converting the um, voltage scale or linear scale um, gain to decibels, 20 times the log in base 10 of the gain. Um, so right now this is a linear scale plot, but if I want it to be decibel scale, I can just call gain, uh, gain to decibels. And you will see how we get decibel scale. So for the basics of plotting uh, filters in the S-plane, that is all you need. If you are plotting in some uh, software that doesn't uh, have support for complex numbers, like you're doing it in C, it's quite common, um, it's going to take you a little bit more time, but all of these formulas will still work. You're going to have to look up some things. Um, basically, you just need to look up uh, uh, a library for doing mathematics on complex numbers, or you can write your own. Um, all you need here is just uh, add, subtract, divide, and multiply, and then you can, once you have those implemented for complex numbers, all of these things that we've done here should run uh, without a problem. And that's the end of this presentation.